kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part three of my video series on <coughs> Retrofit Tool Library using Android Studio. Alright, guys. So, in this video, we are going to write the code for the PHP file. And in here, we will write the code. And we 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 will first of all receive the values from the Android app. For example, we will receive the student name and student age and then we we will uh, receive the values and then we will store it in our mysql database okay so how can we do that so here first of all we have to receive the values so in order to receive the values we will be sending using the post uh, statement okay so for this we can simply say here name equal to and for this we can say post and here we can say it to be name okay so we will receive the name inside this post of with the name of name and then we can say age equal to and this one will also be post and here we can say age okay so now we have both the name and age so here we now we, we will write the query so there we can say query equal to okay so there we can say insert into and we will insert it into our student table and here we can say name and age and then we can say values and then we can simply say here like name and like age All right, so now that's it. We have used the insert into query and there we can see name, age, and then we use the values and we have the uh, dollar sign name and then we have age and that's it. Okay, so now we are going to write, uh, use the function MySQLi. So here we can say, result equal to and here we can see my sql i query and here we will send our connection and then we will send our query here all right so now here we can check if result is equal to one then it means that the values are successfully entered so now we want to send back uh, send back the json data okay so how can we send back the response so first of all here we can say send back we make an array and in here we say it to be it will contain a field named a success and it will be true then we, we can say send back and the message here we will say message and it will be data entered successfully okay then we have to use the, the, the json encode so for this we can say my json equal to json encode we have to encode it and what we have to use the send back here all right and finally we can say echo my json and we now finally can say it to be my sql i close all right so that's it so now what we have done is we have we have received the values from the android app for the name and age and then we are just sending it to be uh, into the mysql database so here we want to test it so like how it is possible how we can test it so i will show you you i will show you using the postman software so i will open the postman
okay so now you can see that we have the postman here and first of all you have we have to use the local host here okay so i think we only have to use the local host so for example here we are going to write localhost slash admin panel slash index.php file okay and in here we have to write some header for this or i think we need we have to have the body so for the body first of all here we can say for example name it will be Harun and it will age it will be suppose 10 okay so now if I try to click on send and there you can see we have the response in here okay so there is we are having some problem my school I close expect one parameter undefined index name in index php on line 17 let me see where is the line 17 okay so i think we don't need to pass it using the body we will be passing using the headers all right so here we can say localhost and my php index.php and instead of my app we can use admin panel okay and here we can say name it will be harun and it age it will be 10 okay and if i click on send and we have still an error on 17 so guys i will try to i will tell you in my uh, after i pause the video all right guys so there was some problem so first of all you have to uh, disable your firewall so you have to open go to your check firewall status and you have to uh, stop it okay you don't have to run it uh, otherwise your work this will not work okay so after this another problem that i was facing is that here we have to uh, specify the exact uh, the exact the column name from the chrome here you can see student name and student age so here after i did this then my problem was resolved okay okay so guys here we can say like let me here open the here we have the sandwich panel and index.php file and make sure that you select this body and we have to use the form form data okay so we are sending it using the form data and we have to write the name and age here after i click on send there we can see connection done and here we have uh, this json response here so here we can we can get the the json response in our android app and then we can work on it all right guys so that was it for this video and okay so now in the next part of the video we will try to integrate or initialize the retrofit to library and some other things which have to be done all right guys so also make sure that you subscribe to my channel and please comment down below if you are watching this part of the video so please comment down below so that i know that you have uh, you have watched the entire video so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i want it the video to end uh, after 10 minutes so that's why i have been doing it